guys, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. I am doing a very well requested video on mystery shopping. So you guys have seen in my budget report cards and some of my hauls even that I'm doing some little bit of mystery shopping. I am dabbling in it and I'm really enjoying it. It's a little, little stressful at first, I will admit. I'm sorry, Skylar is playing with a toy right behind me. She's, you just saw her scoop back. Um, so I am dabbling in it. It was a little hard at first, a little overwhelming because especially with the grocery store ones, you have so many questions that you have to ask each department. You have to get names. You have to get all of this descriptions and all of this stuff. And I'm just like, holy cow, this is a lot. And bef when I first started, before they rolled out the new mobile thing, um, I had to write it all down on paper discreetly. So I had like my shopping list and I would discreetly put names as I was doing it because I didn't want them to know that I was a mystery shopper. But now they have a really cool, um, you can do it right through the app. So you can do uh, mobile check-in, you can input it. So as you're shopping, like you just pretend like you're texting someone and go and answer the, the questions and then go to the next section and then answer the questions and go to the next section. And it has a little green check mark as you go so that you can see exactly what sections you've done and what you haven't done. It's so easy, so simple. So the main one that I use is the source. I've signed up for a bunch of mystery shops in the past of different companies and they just didn't work and didn't, like the sign up was weird and the background check, it like didn't go through and then I just never heard from them. And so this one has been the best one. You do have to go through a background check process and different things and answer a couple quizzes and, and whatnot and do like a, a writing template so that they can see that you write properly and you can use full complete sentences and write constructive criticism and stuff. So once you do all of that, then you can get approved. Now I've done just the grocery store type of mystery shops with them. I've done them for Winn-Dixie, Costco, Walgreens. I think that's it. Those three companies and they've been great. Um, they do have another type that you can do where it's like going to businesses and you have to set up a meeting with them and you take exterior pictures, you take um, pictures on the inside and like verifying that the business is there. There's some that you have to like pretend like you're getting a mortgage or pretend you want to go to a bank and get a loan. Um, those actually pay a little bit more, but I don't know. I'm still nervous about doing those ones. Um, there's even some that you go to people's houses and like for ones that are being rented and you like go and check the place and I don't know to me that just makes me nervous I'm not at that level yet I just like to stick to the the retail stores um but they're a lot of fun so they take like 15-20 minutes to do the actual shop some of them like for Winn-Dixie you had to um, buy three do three items and you purchase it has to be a minimum of nine dollars which you do get that nine dollars back if you spend twelve dollars you don't get the full twelve you just get the nine and then it's like typically like a six dollar fee or a six dollar payout that you get so you get the nine dollars plus the six so you would make fifteen dollars for that mystery shop which is a great deal for you know something that you're already going to do and so simple i typically schedule a bulk of them like today i did five up in one area so the area that i went to was like 20 30 minutes away and I just kind of like mapped it out so that it was all in one area. When you book the mystery shops, they are, they can be far away. Um, and then they can take usually about a week for them to fully load. When you request the shop, it'll tell you the dates. So it's very rare that it's the same week. They usually give you a little time to, to do it. Um, and then when you're doing the app as well, it'll tell you if it's an A or B shop. So an A shop is there's no one that's requested it yet and you have your like number one pick. And then there's a B shop, which someone already has requested, but you're a backup. So if they cancel for any reason, then you'll get notified and say, would you like to do this? Are you right now A? And I've actually done a couple of those. Um, and then sometimes if they are like last minute, they need someone today, they'll actually pay you like $10 extra, which is cool. So it's been really easy. Um, if you do do it, make sure that you upload your receipt and submit all of your information that day. I originally, when I first did mine, I did two in one night and I went and I did them all and they took like 30 minutes each because it was my first time doing it. It was the paper one. 
And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna upload them tomorrow morning. And so I did that and then I got penalized for each one. It was like a dollar or something for each one um, because I didn't upload it the same day. I thought that you had to do it within like the window. They give you a five day window. So I thought you had to do it within that five days. No, you had to do it within 12 hours of completing the shot. So keep that in mind. And then also if um, it asks very specific questions and if you don't answer a question correctly, it may um, take money off as well. I think one of the questions that it had was you have to like request a, um, a suggestion like, um, you know, what would you suggest to pair, you know, this meat with or something like that. Give them an open opportunity rather than saying, do you have this or do you have that? And I didn't answer the question properly, so I got deducted for that. So you just need to make sure you read the questions really well. They do have photo guides and supplemental guides that you can go and read up on before you do the shop. And then once you do that company one time, then you're pretty good unless they change it. So when I first started doing Winn-Dixie, I read it really well, and then I learned from my mistakes a couple times. And then now I don't have to. I can just go in and go do the shop really quickly because it's all the same things. So you learn the questions and how they work. So yeah, so that is my mystery shopping experience. Let me know if you guys do mystery shopping, what companies do you go through? I'd love to hear from you guys get some input. And I'm always looking for new, new ways to improve mystery shopping and to get some more ideas. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.